on bank. So, vlog number two on movies. Yeah. It's like probably seven. The YouTube is a new set. Slice to vlog 2.0. Yeah, I'm a tangent again. Um, so yeah, the movie yeah. that I watched last night was Why The Social Network, um, simply because it was on Showtime at a time when I was looking through all the movies I had, I was like, I want to watch none of them, and I was like, I grabbing one on DVD, I was like, mm. so there was just one on there, um, yeah, I watched it, stuff that I haven't seen it before, and it's hard for me to watch, and the fact that, um, it's had something I use every day, and I love learning about things that I use, so I love learning the history of things I don't know, it's kind of weird, but you know, it was, but that's where my problem with the movie is, is it, I think people can get confused whether it's actually true or not, um, I, I watched throughout the movie and at the end they had um, an interview with the director and the writer and he said that it is actually quite accurate, all of this, and whenever there was something in dispute, it went to the deposition. It was written in two centuries. It was written in the past and the present in the deposition stage with um, the Nick of Losses and I mean, um, Zuckerberg's friend. I forget his name. <laughs> Terrible things like that. But yeah, um, so it was written in all of those depositions. And you actually see um, how everything progressed and how the fall, but you know. You've got to take it with a pinch of salt because things have to progress in a logical, chronological order in a movie to fit the narrative, but in life, things don't fall into, in that way. So, look, I enjoy the movie. It's fantastically put together. It's quite interesting. It's, um, I think the acting in, in it's good. Um, Jesse Eisberg, he plays such a great little dweeby, awkward guy that doesn't know what's up, but he's just good at this one thing. And you know, the supporting things, the twins are acted, the wiggle bosses are acted by one person, which I didn't know until today, which is quite interesting to see and how they actually pull that off. But when in a lot of shots, it's just maybe their body and their heads cut off by the screen. Um, so they probably got a stunt thing. And then when they are sitting next together, you can kind of almost see that it's a little bit CGI'd in, like it's right. You, 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 only when you know that can you see it, and um, now they've told you that you might see it, I don't know. But yeah, um, well put together. Um, I think maybe a little bit overhyped. It is a good movie, but it's not fantastic. It's a good thing to watch. I mean, for a Tuesday night, it was very sufficient. But I think, you know, the whole hope, like, hype, it's like, oh my god, amazing. It's like, alright, come on, I'm waiting for two hours. It's about Facebook. I mean, if I wanted to spend two hours and something on Facebook, I'd rather be on Facebook. But, you know, all in all, very interesting movie. I'd probably give it about eight and a half. Um, it's quite interesting in the way that I don't like... I don't actually know what I'm saying here, but, like, it was interesting to watch now that I've probably seen it. It was inter more interesting to watch the second time. Um, I don't know, more, you know, you've after you watch a movie, I don't know if you do this, but I look up things and so I looked it up and I kind of went more things, but yeah, um, wow, this one is really, this review is really bad, I'm sorry about that, hopefully they'll get better, it's only number two, um, got a couple of movies that I'm IQ'd, uh, I watched this one, tomorrow will be burlesque, so I look forward to that, um, Hopefully I can get it done tomorrow because uh, busy or not. But yeah. Anyway, um, see you soon. Bye.